Hello everybody, this video is about how to acid test jewelry. Now we're going to use 10 molar nitric acid. I've got a little bottle here. It's got some. We're going to pour it into this dish that I've got for demonstration. Alright, now if you want to do this, you'll need to get your own nitric acid and uh, you'll have to figure out concentration. You want the concentration to be 10 molar or 10 normal. You'll see it as a capital N or a capital M uh, on the labels. Um, there are some other percentage by percentage. I think it's about 50% by weight. Um, so how the nitric acid test works is nitric acid will dissolve base metals, a lot of them, but it will not dissolve gold. Okay, it will dissolve silver, but not very fast. So we're going to do an example of each of the things. And the purpose of it is to screen out, you know, if you're buying a selection of gold objects, uh, you might see, you know, you might think something is gold and then turns out that it's not. So this is um, my wedding ring. It is a 14 karat gold. If I set it in the nitric acid, there is no reaction. And I can let it sit there for quite a while. If I'm not sure, the less sure you are, the longer you want it to sit. If you're very skeptical about something, you can let it sit for a long time. And uh, mostly it just cleans it up. So occasionally 14 karat or 10 karat will uh, brown. Here is a gold tooth. Now I don't usually test gold teeth in nitric acid because I just, when I see them, if I see they're yellow, I can tell that they are gold. And if, if it's clean like this one with no amalgam filling, then I can get a good weight on it. So you can see that it has no reaction and that's what you want. So that's good. All right, now, so here I've got this, um, sterling silver earring interestingly you will notice a reaction or changing color so if i put this in the acid the acid starts to dissolve the silver and some of it replates on and uh, as you can probably see it has discolored the uh, the silver and so that'll ruin any silver jewelry you put in there Luckily, this earring needs to be refined anyway because it's missing its pair. Um, but yeah, so nitric acid will ruin the, the finish of silver jewelry. So I usually actually don't test it. I just look for marks on silver. And if it has marks, buy it. If it doesn't, I don't. Uh, that's pretty simple. Or if, or if it doesn't and I think it's silver, maybe I'll buy it cheaper just because it's... Uh, it's, you know, you might be just losing your money anyway. All right, so, so here's an example. This necklace is magnetic, so I would have filtered it out with a magnet, but it's gold plated. And if I put it in here, you see, you get a very vigorous reaction. All right, that's enough of that. The gas is very strong. It's a NO2, NO3 gas and it's not very uh, good for you to breathe so you don't want to do it too much uh, but you can see that it changed the color of the liquid you can see that it changed the texture of the uh, gold plated object and we'll rinse that off later when we get a chance so so if you get this reaction you do not want to buy the object for gold prices here again another gold plated necklace proof that it's not uh, what you're after. Now you might want to get gold plated stuff but you want to pay a cheap price for it. I know uh, another local refiner pays a dollar a pound for gold plated stuff because there is a little bit of gold on there you can get off but uh, it's a lot of work and you want to do like huge batches of it. Okay so this let's see so it was slow to react, but it is reacting. 
and uh, so you can definitely tell this is a base metal too. All right. Now copper looks like gold. Okay, it's a copper boot. It's probably got some zinc in it. Actually, it doesn't look like pure copper. If I put it in here, you can see that it definitely reacts. So there you go. So this is so how I'd separate these things is I'd put these reactive things over here, uh, the gold I'd put in this pile over here, and the silver that I can tell turned it like white, kind of a pasty white color. I know that's silver. So if you're in doubt and you want to find out um, now. A little note here on the silver thing, if you've got a silver plated object, it'll look exactly the same. So this actually isn't a very good test for silver, but it's great for gold and it should help you out. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hello again. In the description I've put links relating to parts of this video and you'll find links to supporting information and tools and um, some affiliate links that uh, will support the channel if you click them. Also, if you like the video, definitely push all the buttons that help you know when another video comes out so you can check them out. And lastly, if there was a topic or a similar topic that I didn't cover in this video that you're interested in, please make a comment down below so that I can uh, make one for you guys. Hopefully this was helpful for you and have a great day.